Danielle from Urban Dog Training and today we're going to be talking about dogs who eat non-food items. So what is PICA? PICA is a condition where dogs regularly ingest non-food items. Commonly dogs with this disorder ingest inedible things such as fabric, plastics, carpet, sticks, rubber and rocks. Dogs can become obsessive about eating non-food items and this isn't normal and it can become so intense that the dog starts to disregard all other activities. Symptoms of PICA In order to diagnose PICA, the dog must have a history of regularly ingesting non-food items. Typically the dog will be obsessive about eating these items. Risks involved with PICA some ingested objects might pass through the intestines normally, while others may not, and this will cause intestinal blockages. Surgery is usually required for intestinal blockages, and sometimes it even causes death. Dealing with pica. The following are some suggestions to help you to deal with pica if you have a dog with this condition. One, ensure that the dog is receiving an adequate diet. Two, visit the vet and rule out any medical disorders. 3. Increase the dog's activity level to include more exercise and more environmental enrichment exercises. 4. Prohibit the dog from gaining access to things that he's regularly ingesting. Now this might include keeping an absolutely spotless house or confining the dog when you can't supervise it. And when the dog isn't confined, it needs constant monitoring. 5. Place a bell on the dog's collar or attach a leash to the dog to enable you to constantly monitor your dog's behaviour. 6. Teach your dog a rock-solid leave-it cue, ensuring that your dog happily complies in all situations. 7. If the dog shows any signs of interest toward the object, then interrupt and redirect them. Ask your dog to leave it, and if they comply, reward them with a treat or something else they find enjoyable. 8. If the dog doesn't comply, then use a level of interruption sufficient to stop the behaviour, usually something like a firm uh uh will do, and then redirect your dog onto something appropriate to do, and preferably something that's incompatible with going back to the object. 9. If the dog can't be interrupted, then cue a timeout and place the dog in timeout immediately. The duration of the timeout should be a couple of minutes or until the dog has been calm and quiet for 30 seconds. 10. Provide your dog with a regular routine. Set feeding times, walk times, play times and attention time. 11. Identify as many sources of stress as possible and minimise your dog's contact with them. Common sources of stress are things like noisy things such as nearby construction sites and thunderstorms or it could be the presence of another dog in the family or some type of family upheaval. Pika can be a medical problem or a behavioural disorder, so if you visited your vet and had medical issues ruled out, then contact us for help with designing a behaviour modification program. Check out our website at www.urbandogtraining.com.au. If you're enjoying our videos, then don't forget to give us the thumbs up on YouTube or visit our Facebook page to give us a positive rating. Thanks for watching. See you next time.